The soft orange glow of a light bulb was a reaction between electricity and tungsten filament. And tungsten was first used in China to give porcelain a unique peach color. This is Materials Lab, and today we will discuss tungsten, making metals stronger. We all had a little bit of tungsten in our homes during the 20th century. Nowadays, the majority of bulbs are LED, and we no longer have this orange glow emanating from our homes. Tungsten ore is found in many parts of the world. Tungsten is available in many countries, but according to a BBC report, China supplies about 80% of the world's tungsten. Tungsten is used in many different ways because it is very strong and durable. It is very resistant to corrosion and has the highest melting point and highest tensile strength of any element. Its strength comes when it is made into compounds. Pure tungsten is very soft. But how did tungsten come to be discovered and what possibilities does it offer? It wasn't until 1783 when Juan and Fausto Elhuyar researched the mysterious metal. They isolated the metal oxide from wolframite and then reduced it to tungsten metal by heating it with carbon. It's here that we need to specify the difference between tungsten and tungsten carbide. Tungsten refers to the individual metal. Tungsten carbide is an alloy of tungsten and predominantly carbon, but nickel and titanium are among the other metals that might be used. In 1868, the world's first self-hardening steel appeared, and high-speed steel with tungsten additions of up to 20% was exhibited at the World Exhibition in Paris in 1900. Steel research moves methodically, moves carefully, from idea to test. These steels are still used in machine shops all over the world. For much of the 20th century, no longer did people have to light candles or use the less efficient carbon filament lamps, all thanks to the use of the light bulb. The first tungsten light bulbs were patented in 1904. Tungsten would be used by the Germans during World War I, and their output for a time far exceeded that of the Allies. Even stranger was after the war, it was discovered that the majority of the tungsten had come from the British Cornish mines in Cornwall. The Germans had another success with tungsten in 1923. An electrical bulb company submitted a patent for tungsten carbide. It is at this moment that the history of tungsten changed. And we aren't leaving the Germans yet. During the Second World War, they were the first to use tungsten carbide core in their rounds. This resulted in British tanks melting when hit by these projectiles. At the turn of the century, lighting use for tungsten was a total of 4 or 5 percent of the total production. Nowadays, tungsten is found in its tungsten carbide form and steel alloys. These steel alloys are used in the production of rocket engine nozzles. Super alloys with tungsten became turbine blades and wear resistant parts and coatings. And if scientists ever solve how to make fusion a viable energy source, it would be perfect for future fusion reactors. Tungsten is an ideal candidate for the plasma facing components because of its high melting temperature and good heat conductivity. So, that old light bulb with its burning wire of tungsten could soon be changing how we provide power to the world. The magic's gone. The minute the lights go out, you fall asleep.